in these exceptional times while coping with this global pandemic. Learning will continue. Quality education must be delivered. Broadcasting live from the home of the makers of champions in the division of Tagum City, the Mabubu Pilot Central Elementary School, through the collaboration of DepEd and the local government unit of Tagum City, serving you with the different skills to learn with fun-filled experience. This is your MPCS School on the Air. Good day, Grade 5 students. You are now listening to our first ever School on the Air program, where you can learn different skills filled with fun activities. I am your radio teacher, Michelle V. Diodora, from Magupo Pilot Central Elementary School, serving you with the different skills to learn in Science 5. The sun is already up, and I do hope all of you, too. The weather is so fine. This is perfect for learning. I am grateful that despite the effects of this COVID-19 pandemic in our lives, you are still willing to learn new things. Before we start today, can I ask you one thing? Did you eat your breakfast? Hmm, that is a good thing. If you already did, then you are now alert and ready to learn. And if you're still not, well, you are free to do it while listening to our first lesson in Science 5. Also, make sure that you are in a comfortable place in Far From Noise so that you can hear me loud and clear. At this point, quickly get your module in Science 5, Week 1. Again, quickly get your module in Science 5, Week 1. Before we start, make sure you have your pen, paper, and notebook with you. Again, you should have your pen, paper, and notebook with you. This time, hold your module and let us have a quick walk through. Make sure that the title of the module you are holding is Use the Properties of Materials, Whether They Are Useful or Harmful. Again, the title of the module must be Use the Properties of Materials, Whether They Are Useful or Harmful. To be guided in using this module, you may do the following. Number one, read and follow the directions and or instructions in the activities and exercises carefully and diligently. Number two, take your time in reading the lessons. Number three, answer all given tests, activities, and exercises Honestly. Number four, check your answers in the key answers provided at the last few pages of the module. In number five, familiarize yourselves with the following terms and icons, which I will be mentioning now. For page one, we have here, let us learn. Do you see it? Again? Go now to page one and see, let us learn. Do you see it? Great. Now, let's go to the next page. Do you see the words, let us try on top of page two? Again, do you see the words, let us try on top of page two? Amazing. What about let us study on top of page four? Wow, you're really following through. Let's go to the next page. That's page five. Do you see, let us practice? Again, on page five, let us practice. Do you see it? Wonderful. Flip your module on page seven. Let us practice more. Hmm, do you see it? 
really good. Let's see page 10. Again, let us see page 10. Are you there? Can you find the words? Let us remember. Really good, kids. On the next page, you will see there, let us assess on page 11. Again, that's let us assess on page 11. Do you see it? Good. Now turn the three more pages and see page 14. There, you will find let us enhance. Again, you will find let us enhance on page 14. And the last part of this module, let us reflect on page 15. Are you following through? Again, let's let us reflect on page 15. Great kids! Thank you very much for following through. And there you have it. If you see all of it, you are now ready to learn our first lesson. If you find something missing in the module, please feel free to ask assistance from your family. We will be right back after a short reminder. Today, grade 5 students, again, this is your radio teacher, Michelle Vidiodora, and today, we will be using the properties of materials to tell whether they are useful or harmful. Again, today, we will be talking about using the properties of materials to tell whether they are useful or harmful. After going through this module, you are expected to, number one, identify and describe some useful materials. Number two, identify and describe some harmful materials. Number three, classify useful and harmful materials. And number four, Practice safety precautions in the use of certain materials. Our lesson for today is about using the properties of materials, whether they are useful or harmful. Again, our lesson for today is about using the properties of materials, whether they are useful or harmful. Now, let us learn some trivia from page one. Are you at page one now? Good! Let us go to our segment. Did you know? Hmm. Let us see what we will be learning today. Did you know that the different household materials have specific physical and chemical properties? That's interesting. Did you know as well that these properties of the materials will determine whether they are useful or harmful? <gasps> Ooh. Okay, and lastly, did you also know that when one is combined, they may cause damage or harmful effects to the people or their surroundings? Oh dear, you will find the answers to these mind-bubbling questions as you explore this module more. Let us... Now kids, flip your modules on page 2. We have there some questions which you will be answering. But before that, I'd like to ask you, how well do you know about using the properties of materials? Hmm, how 
well do you know about using the properties of materials? Let us try to check by answering the following questions from pages 2 to 3. Read the questions carefully and write the letter of the correct answer on your module. After honestly answering this, you may check the answers at the last part of this module. Now that you are done with trying out pages 2 and 3, let us study on page 4. Mm -hmm. Again, flip your module on page 4. Let us study. Are you ready? Let's get started. Materials are considered useful when it serves a purpose. Again, materials are considered useful when it serves a purpose. These materials may have properties such as durability, resistance to water, heat or acid, flexibility, elasticity, and hardness. Some useful materials can also be reused. For example, a container for any solid or liquid material. When it is already empty, it can still be used for other purposes. As a flower vase, a coin bank, or a house decor. Whether a bottle is made of plastic or glass, it has a property that makes it reusable. Some useful materials may also bring hazards. Toxic substances may also be present in the things we commonly use, such as gels, fumes, and powders may bring to your environment and other organisms when not properly used. That is why we should take precautionary measures when handling and using different materials. Now that you have learned about using the properties of materials, to tell whether they are useful and harmful, let us see the activity on page 4 at the lower section. Do you see there a safer home in school? Good! Our objective is to classify useful and harmful materials. The science skills that you will need are observing and classifying. You will also need materials such as paper and a ball pen. Are you ready? Let's go! Here is what you should do. Number one, look around your house or your school. Now, list down 10 materials that you see in those places. Number two, classify the following materials whether they are useful or harmful. Number three, among the given materials, identify one that is useful and harmful at the same time. Again, identify one that is useful and harmful at the same time. Do you consider them as useful and harmful? Can you explain why? Hooray! You're doing a great job! Now let us remember. Can you please go to page 10? Let us remember. Again, that is page 10. Here, we will be having a review by filling the blanks in. Are you ready? Great! That's amazing, kids! Now, Let's start. Here's the direction. 
read each statement carefully and fill the blanks with the appropriate word to complete the science ideas. Materials are considered blank when it serves a purpose. Some useful materials may also bring blank. Toxic substances may also be present in the things we commonly use, such as cleaners, gels, fumes, and powders. These materials may bring blank on your health, environment, and other organisms when not properly used. That's why we should take blank measures when handling and using different materials. That was easy, right? I hope you were able to fill the missing word in the spaces provided. You're doing really good, kids. Now, look at your module on the next page, at page 15. Let us reflect. Do you see let us reflect on the lower part of page 15? Great! Let's continue. Look at the materials that have been found in your house or those which are about to be disposed of. Make a similar table on a piece of paper. List down all the materials on the first column of the table. Then, put a check on the second column if you find the material useful. And X if you consider it as a waste. Again, put a check on the second column if you find the material useful. And X if you consider it as waste. For those materials which are considered as waste, which among them must be disposed of with extra care? Highlight them with a colored marker. Again, you have to highlight the materials that are considered as waste and must be disposed of with extra care. Do you see the table on page 16? That's the part that you should be filling in. Example, under the material section, I will write vinegar. Vinegar. Now, under the useful or harmful section, I will put on a check mark because vinegar is useful. Again, on the left side, that's vinegar. On the right side, that's a check. It's as simple as that. Got it, kids? Great! Now it's your turn to write down on the table on page 16. Good luck! Again, let's have a quick review. Please go back to page 4. Materials are considered useful when it serves a purpose. These materials may have properties such as durability, resistance to water, heat or acid, flexibility, elasticity, and hardness. Some useful materials can also be reused. For example, a container for any solid or liquid material. When it is already empty, it can still be used for other purposes, such as a flower vase, a coin bin, or a house decoration. Whether a bottle is made of plastic or glass, it has a property that makes it reusable. Some useful materials may also bring hazards. Toxic substances may also be present in the things we commonly use, such as cleaners, gels, fumes, and powders. These materials may bring harm to your health, environment, 
and other organisms when not properly used. That is why we should take precautionary measures when handling and using different materials. You're doing a great start, kids! I hope you learned using the properties of materials to tell whether they are useful or harmful. If you have some questions and clarifications, just tune in so you can learn more. See? You can now use the properties of materials to tell whether they are useful or harmful. It's as easy as that. Now that we are almost done with our lesson, it is about time to answer the other parts of the module to enhance your skills in using the properties of materials to tell whether they are useful or harmful. If you have a hard time in understanding the directions, don't be hesitant to ask some help from your family. You may also phone your teacher if you need some help. Again, get your module paper and pen. Write your name, grade, and section, and the date for today. The date for today is August 3, 2020. Again, before taking the quiz, write your name, grade and section and the date for today, which is August 3, 2020. Are you done filling the blanks in? If so, make sure to check every item to see if there are parts you have forgotten to fill in. I will be giving you some instructions after a short break. Stay tuned! We are about to end our first episode for today in Science 5. I am encouraging all of you to give us some feedbacks regarding the flow of our lessons for today. For inquiries or feedback, please write or call to the Department of Education Region 11 office address is e Park Apokon, Pagong City. And the telefax or tel telephone number, that's 084-216-3504. Your feedbacks would be of great help for the next episodes to come. Once again, do not forget to pass your quiz and feedback form to your school stations. Our first lesson in science is ended. You may also start working on the other parts of the module to enhance your skills in using the properties of materials to tell whether they are useful or harmful. Just follow the instructions carefully. If you find it hard to do the other activities, don't be hesitant to ask some help from your family. You may also phone your teacher if you need some help. Stay tuned with us in our next episode. Keep safe and may God bless you all throughout this day. Once again, this is Teacher Michelle Videodora airing live from our school on the air for Grade 5. Do well in answering your activities. Good luck. Till next time, kids. Goodbye. Have a great day. I hope you enjoyed our lesson for today. See you.